And there's another important back to school event happening this week that we want to highlight. Joining us in studio to pre preview the Ready Set Back to School Health and Wellness Fair, we have Elizabeth Chavez, the Director of Kern County Department of Child Support Services, and Kristen Sakamoto, the Program Manager. Thank you both so much for stopping by. Thank you for having us. I love back to school time. I know it can get expensive as a parent, but it's also stressful. I love that this is a health and wellness fair. Tell us all about your event. Sure, August is Child Support Awareness Month. So it's a month where we are able to go out in the community, provide information about the services that we offer here at our department. One of the ways that we give back to the community though is every year our team members host the Ready Set Back to School Health and Wellness Fair. And what we do is we um, raise funds internally to be able to purchase the backpacks. So those backpacks come actually from the staff members. So Kristen's gonna go over a little bit of the information regarding that. Yes. Fantastic. So we'll be again this year at the Kern County Museum. It'll be Thursday, August 3rd from 9 a.m. to noon. We'll have backpacks and we'll have school supplies. But on top of that, we have over 80 community organizations and agencies that come and share more back to school resources, health and wellness. So there's lots of fun free giveaways along with activities for the kids and for the whole family. I just love that. And the resources and getting the kids all set up with everything they need. How does it feel for you to be filling these backpacks from your employees and then handing them out? It's great. The team members have a lot of fun doing this. We've also been out in the outline area. So we went out to Delano, McFarland. We were out at um, Fraser Park and Lamont. Um, we know that families don't always have transportation to get into Bakersfield, so we also go out to other areas in the community to do this. Um, we serve over 54,000 children in our program, and last year we were able to collect $72 million that went directly to those families. So our program is something that if people and community partners are interested in asking and reaching out to us, we are more than willing to provide that information to them. Just fantastic. And I love that you're going to have 80 different vendors because as a parent going back to school, there's so many questions. What are we doing about meals? What are we doing about bus routes? Do you have all of those people available to answer the questions this Thursday? So we do have a wide variety. We have immunizations. We have a lot of some of the after school programs, but like Cap K, local resources, along with um, Kern Family Health Systems. We also have our longtime partners, Valley Strong there. And um, all of this is in partnership with the Kern County uh, Bar Association charitable foundation so we really try to make it as much of a one-stop shop as we can and with 80 vendors if you don't have somebody there to answer your question I'm sure they know somebody and can direct you isn't that great everybody in Kern County knows right. everybody else and I love it that small <laughs> town feel and my last question do we need to pre-register or just show up no it's no eligibility requirement other than the child must be present because our joy is to see their face when they get to select their backpack and as children entering kindergarten through 12th grade Perfect. Thank you so much, both of you. Again, this is happening Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 at the Kern County Museum. We'll be right back with Kevin's full forecast.